Hi everyone, this is Maria Lane. Thank you very much for your new round of questions and I'm delighted to be answering them for you. So, um, first of all, I want to say, have you ladies heard of um, Law of Attraction? Um, it'd be really cool if you could let me know because I'd like to expand on this because um, a lot of your questions, you know, you really have the, um, the internal power to create create the outcome that you really want but to help you get some clarity um, let's see what cards we've got and I'm starting off with Froggy who asks is she on the right path uh, to destiny with her relationship and so let's see what the card says here this is Lucy Cavendish and we have there's a surprise coming Froggy so I can't say whether you're on the right path to your relationship but it's saying to me this is unexpected revelations that there's a discussion that needs to be had with you and your partner and I think that there might be something that's not being said um, and that doesn't necessarily have to be a negative thing but because sometimes if we keep things inside of us they become bigger than they need to be and you know I'm speaking from my own personal experience here and you know I withheld some information that I thought was going to turn into a big issue and when I finally shared this information it was a non-event so but you have to be guided by how you feel about it um, there's other situations where I believe that you know some things need to stay in the past and have no relevance on the future I mean on your incoming relationship so I'll let you be the best judge of that one um, if it feels right it is right that's my criteria so that is your card so thank you for asking your question Froggy now Nikki you're asking grand things. Are uh, my decisions going to take me there? So I'm going to actually use the next part, cards, set of cards, um, psychic carry cards. Um, and once again, of course, if that's how you feel, then that's what will be. Okay, so this card just jumped out. And it's the shadow. So, Nikki, I don't refer to the actual booklet here. I go by my gut feeling here. And so I see this card as... You've got two choices. Um, this one you can stay in the dark, or this one is illuminated and it's full of light. So it'll come down to your thoughts and how you perceive your decisions. So um, I'm a great one for writing things down. Have you actually written down on paper what you want to happen with as much clarity as you possibly can? That's a really, really cool technique to do, and you can actually... Um, send that off to the universe but um, I believe that if you you feel you're destined for grand things well then that's exactly what you're going to manifest if it doesn't happen it's because you're, you're not really aligned your thinking is not in line with your outcome and that would be the only reason why it doesn't happen because you will always get the essence of what you're thinking so I hope that one helps you Nikki um, the next one is for Nick Williamson and how long until I return home well, that's a bit broad there, Nikki, and I meant to say, I actually did another reading for you last week, so I felt your question was a little bit vague, it was answered vaguely, so I have a more detailed one ready for you. If you want to um, contact me and let me know your email address, I'll email the link to you. So I'm actually going to use the soul cards for your question, and let's see what comes up here. Um, Do you really want to go home? That's the question I'm going to be asking you. So what have we got here? So this card is interesting. Um, it's probably, you're going to say, how does that relate to my question? It's the wizard. And it says, I have all the knowledge and wisdom. I am all things within me. I am wise. So this card is telling you that you know exactly if and when you're going to go home because you are the wizard. Um, and once again, what I said to Nikki above, um, if you really want to go home and it's not happening, it's because you're not thinking in the right direction, because the universe will conspire to give you exactly what you want. So um, you know the answer to that one, Nikki. I think you know it's already inside you, and I think you're just looking, hoping for some clarification to say yes, that this is what I was feeling, but... The card is telling you, me to tell you, you already know. Now, Faye, you've got doubts about your career and what you're doing is really not what you thought you wanted to be doing. 
Mm. Okay, well once again, this card jumped out, so I'm going to share it with you. And it says it's um, the wisdom of solitude and the hermit. So I'm going to tell you that I think you need to actually do some meditation. And uh, the reason why I'm suggesting that to you is that through meditation, you get a lot of clarity. And one of the techniques that I suggest, in fact, um, I've got a course that I'm happy to share with people who reach out. Um, it's a 12-day meditation discovery and you have some guided meditations to listen to and at the end of every meditation you write the insights that are gifted to you and I think Nick uh, Faye um, your clarity will come to you through meditation maybe it's not what you wanted to hear but that's what the cards are telling me to pass on uh, now Lisa future work when I was typing up these questions, what jumped into my head was um, vet nursing. So I thought I'd share that with you and just see um, see how that fits. But I'm just going to pull a card to see. Future work. I'm not quite sure how that card fits too, but you may know what it's referring to. Emotional withdrawal. So maybe you're overthinking this and it's time to stop and just let it be for a little bit and see what comes to you because too often when we um, when we want an outcome and we're putting our focus on this outcome and we think about it we think about it we think about it it actually blocks the flow because we're offering split energy to the universe so it's this card is telling me to let it go for a little while and then just trust and see what inspiration or opportunities present because all we need to do is ask once, once to the universe, and then it'll be delivered to us. But because we continually ask, we're not, mis we're not seeing the answer. Okay, so Jade, what's going on with your relationship? Well, that's an interesting one. What is going on with your relationship? Um, from what I'm picking up, maybe it's not going along as how you'd hoped. So um, let's see what the soul cards have got to tell us about this. And if it's going, if it's not working out how you thought, I would suggest. Hmm, this is I honour the child within. I hope you know what that means, because I'm a little bit miffed. Um, I honour the child within. Let me have a look. Are you being a little? Do you feel wounded in your relationship? Do you feel that you're you're not honoured? Um, with your contribution to the relationship. This is what I'm picking up from this card. But once again, that can stop as quickly as your thoughts. Um, and I would like you to spend some time thinking about all the good things that are happening in your relationship at the moment and not spend too much time on the stuff that's not working for you. Because how that works is when you think about, and it's not just with your personal relationship, any relationship, when you focus on the good elements of the person that you're interacting with, and you see that in your heart and your mind and you just continually focus on that, well, that's the version of the person that's going to show up in your existence. When we focus on the, um, the other side, then that's who presents to us on a daily basis. Once again, I've learned from my own personal experiences here and it does work when we can flip it. I think that's the key to everything. We just got to flip it. Um, okay, Debbie. Put back to um, Lucy cards here. So financial situation, is it going to improve? Let's see what the cards say. Um, by your question, I'm thinking that you'd like it to. So I'm hoping that it does for you too. Let's have a look. Mm -hmm. So this is very similar to all the other ladies. Um, it will improve when you start seeing improvement in your mind. This card represents a few more challenges and a steep hill, and that's because it's you're doing it up here first, and it's got to come from here first. That's how change happens. So um, I suggest another letters in order that you need to write down, sit down and write exactly what you're hoping to achieve. Um, because whilst you're still, you, you've got your focus on what's missing, it can't arrive. Okay, and Chantel, 
you want some clarity on your career and relationships, well, let's see what the card says. Whilst I'm um, just shuffling these, ladies, it really does start in your head. I can't stress that enough. So here we go. Well, it's the disruption card. So there's, um, this is, must be where you are at the moment. No wonder you're asking for clarity on your career and your relationships. There's, um, you, you've created some sort of distraction and it's probably not to your liking. So meditation again. Um, and I suggest that you just take some time to contemplate and trust the words that, um, that appear. Now, those of you ladies who have actually suggested um, meditation, I've got some guided meditations I'm happy to share with you. And the one that I'm su suggesting is the um, Butterfly Guided Meditation. It takes you down a path, and it's actually on YouTube. You can get it today. Um, Google O2 Butterfly Guided Meditation by Leon Steed. It takes you on a beautiful journey, and you get the opportunity to ask a question to your higher self and trust the words that flow to you during that answer. But this one, yeah, disruption at the moment. And um, I'd like to maybe have a look at this in a couple of weeks' time after you've done some meditation and releasing. Now, I uploaded yesterday a link to a podcast all about letting go. For those of you ladies who um, need to let go, there's some beautiful techniques up there, three of them, that I strongly suggest that you um, you practice. And I really want to say, we've got to start thinking in terms of what we want because that's when things start to happen. And in finishing off, if any of you are interested, I've actually created this beautiful, it's called the Emotional Guidance Scale. And if you're interested in finding out more, I'm happy to send you a, a copy of it and also an explanation of how it works. Um, but when we discover what vibrational essence we're putting out there to the universe, then that's what's going to come back to us. Okay, thank you very much for listening. Bye.